Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome everybody. And let us discuss the topic common eye effect today. First of all, you must have an idea that common eye effect is an application of Le Chatelier's principle. So common line effect is an application of Le Chatelier principle. Now what is meant by the common line effect? Actually according to common line effect, suppression of ionization or dissociation or solubility of a weak electrolyte by adding a strong electrolyte having a common ion is called as common ion effect so basically suppression mean there is a decrease decrease in what in ionization or dissociation or solubility these are three different words with the same meaning when we are dealing the electrolytes ionization is also called as dissociation and both these are related to the solubility of the electrolyte now suppression of ionization takes place of which species of the weak electrolyte and why this suppression takes place? Because we have added a strong electrolyte. But there is a condition by adding a strong electrolyte into any weak electrolyte never decreases its suppression until and unless there is one ion common between them. So there must be a common ion between them. This is actually the common ion effect. And common ion effect affects the solubilities or ionization of the weak electrolytes only. It does not affect the strong electrolyte. Suppose that we have prepared a saturated solution of impure sodium chloride. So when we prepare a saturated solution of impure sodium chloride in water it has these two types of ions in it now this one is impure NaCl but when HCl gas is passed the very important point is that here we are using HCl in the gaseous form not in the liquid form when HCl gas is passed through it, it produces H positive and Cl negative ion. Now, this one is a strong electrolyte. Due to addition of this strong electrolyte, the ionization or dissociation of NaCl is suppressed. Why? Because there were chloride ions already present in the solution and you have added more chloride ions in the solution. So, already chloride ion will was present and you have added more chloride ions and you know that according to Le Chatelier principle when something is added in the products the reaction moves in the backward direction so ionization of this NaCl will be suppressed this will become dominant in the reverse direction so NaCl from ionized form will again go to the unionized form it will move from soluble form to insoluble form it will move from ionic form to the crystals form. 
सो इट मीन्स वेन यू विल पास एच सी एल गैस थ्रू द सेचूरेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ द सोडियम क्लोराइड द क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड विल बी प्रोड्यूस एंड दीज क्रिस्टल्स विल बी द प्योर क्रिस्टल्स बिकॉज द इम्प्योरिटीज दे रिमेन इन द सोल्यूशन फॉर्म सो दिस वन इज अ मेथड फॉर द कमर्शियल प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ द सोडियम क्लोराइड दैट वी प्रिपेयर द सेचूरेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ द इम्प्योर एन एस ई एल एंड देन वी पास द एच सी एल गैस थ्रू इट बिकॉज एन एस ई एल एंड एच सी एल हैव अ क्लोराइड आइन इन कॉमन सो दिस सुप्रेस इज द आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ द वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एन एस ई एल एंड इट मूव फ्रॉम आइनिक फॉर्म टू द प्योर क्रिस्टल फॉर्म सिमिलरली कॉमन आइन इफेक्ट मे ऑल्सो बी अप्लाइड इन द डिटेक्शन ऑफ ग्रुप टू बेसिक रेडिकल्स एंड ग्रुप टू बेसिक रेडिकल्स आर बेसिकली डिटेक्टेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ देयर सल्फाइड्स this point is just you are required to memorize this point for the mcqs and if you will perform the salt analysis in the lab then this point will become quite clear to you and the last very important application of the common ion effect is the buffer solutions i have already delivered a lecture on the buffer solution so i will recommend you to watch that lecture so these are three important applications of the common ion effect first is the commercial purification of sodium chloride by passing the hcl gas second is the detection of group 2 basic radicals in the form of their sulfides and third one is the buffer solution now let us take an example in which we say that we have a weak electrolyte that is potassium chlorate which strong electrolyte can suppress its ionization through common ion effect your options are kcl hcl nsl all of these so potassium chlorate is an is a weak electrolyte and we want to suppress its ionization which strong electrolyte can be used what do you think which strong electrolyte should can be used the correct answer is alpha why because kclo3 ionizes to produce potassium ions and chloride and kcl will ionize to produce potassium ion and cl negative ion so here will be a common ion between these two but when hcl will ionize it will produce h positive ion and cl negative ion and nsl ionizes to produce na positive ion and cl negative ion in both these cases there is not any common ion to this kclo3 k positive or clo3 negative although these two are also strong electrolytes but i have already mentioned that you cannot use any strong electrolyte for the suppression of ionization of a weak electrolyte but the condition is that at least one ion should be common between them so that is the common ion effect now in this lecture the second topic that we are going to discuss is the leveling effect suppose we have water in three different beakers we add in first beaker hcl 
in second beaker HBr and in third beaker hydrogen iodide. By adding these three different acids in water, can we compare their relative acidic strength? Can we tell that which acid is stronger and which acid is the weaker one? Whether HCl is stronger or HBr is stronger or HI is stronger, which one is relatively stronger as compared to the others? By dissolving these acids in water, we cannot provide any information of their relative strength. This is called as leveling effect. Leveling effect mean all different acid seem to be of the same acidic strength when they are dissolved in water. If their acidic strength is comparable, like HCl, HBr and HI, these three are strong acids. So when we will add these three strong acids in water, they will be of the same level with respect to their acidic strength. They will be of the same level so that's why it is called as the leveling effect. Why? Because in all these three cases, HCl will protonate water and it will produce H3O positive and Cl negative. Similarly, HBr will also equally protonate water to produce H3O positive and Br negative. And similarly, hydrogen iodide also equally protonates water, producing the same amount of H3 positive and I negative. So by dissolving these three strong acids in water, we cannot provide any information of their relative strength because they appear to be of the same level with respect to their acidic strength that is called as the leveling effect. So now what should we use in order to check their relative acidic strength? We will have to use some relatively weak base and that weak base that usually used is the acetic acid. So now separately, not in the same mixer please, listen carefully, separately dissolve HCl, HBr and HI in acetic acid. Acetic acid is relatively a weak base as compared to water. Water is amphoteric and carboxylic acids are also amphoteric in nature. So now, in order to protonate acetic acid is not as much easier as it was to protonate the water. So in this case, the stronger acid will protonate acetic acid more and the weaker acid will have lesser capacity to protonate the acetic acid. So in this way, in order to find their relative strength, we will have to use some weak base as compared to water so that it must be quite difficult for the acids to protonate it and a stronger acid will more protonate the acetic acid and a weaker acid that will less protonate the acetic acid. So by dissolving these three acids separately in the acetic acid, we can find the their relative strength. Now HCl will protonate acetic acid producing CH3, CHOO, H2 positive plus Cl negative. Similarly, HBr will also protonate acetic acid but not in the equal capacity as the HCl was protonating and it will again produce CH2 positive plus Br negative and in case of HI when it will protonate it will again protonate up to different extent depending upon its acidic strength H2 positive plus I negative so these three acids will protonate in the different capacity to this acidic acid so the different amount of this conjugate acid will be produced. In this case, different amount will be produced and this will tell their relative acidic strength. And when we check the, their acidic strength in water, their acidic strength appears same. HCl, 
HBr and Hi. They are of the same acidic strength when they are dissolved in water. But when they are dissolved in acetic acid, their actual strength is found, and which shows that Hi is the strongest. Then that is HBr. Then that is HCl. So in this way, leveling effect means that when you dissolve any strong acid in the water, they will appear of the same level with respect to their acidic strength. And in order to find their actual acidic strength, we will have to use some weak base as compared to the water. And one of the weak bases that we have selected here, that was the acetic acid. So this was all about from the leveling effect. Take care. Allah Hafiz.